Hello there. This video is on flute, packet, page five. Packet one, page five. So please get that out. All right, so this page introduces TTs. And remember, TT has to be twice as fast as ta ta. TT needs dub to be double speed from ta ta. So if you did some ta's, it'd be ta 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 ta. TT would have to be t t t t t t t t. So remember, TT has to be twice as fast as ta ta. The real name for TT is eighth notes, eighth notes, and the real name for ta is quarter notes, quarter notes. So could everybody take a look at song 40? Well, first of all, I hope you warmed up with your five note scale. Remember, warm up a little with your five note scale. But take a look at 40, song 40 called Rhythm Rap. And you can see it says to clap. You could clap it, but you could also speak it and say the TTs and the tas. So song 40, if you were gonna speak it, would go like this if you wanna try it with me, like T, 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 T. So song 41, two, say the rhythms, go. T T T T ta ta T T T T ta rest T T ta T T ta T T T T ta rest I know there's a repeat sign but don't bother with the repeat Notice also there's that mega T T the very first measure has four eighth notes in a row T T T T so four T's in a row it's just two T T's linked together Okay song 41 Song 41 is the same rhythm as song 40 same same rhythm as song 40. So the first note on song 41 is an E flat. Does everybody find an E flat? Everybody find song 41 E flat. So I hope you've already practiced this. Try it at your house. If you want to just listen to me play it, go ahead and listen to me play it. Um, and then also I would like you to try to play it with me. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to play it. If you want to play with me, go ahead. If you just want to listen, that's okay too. T T T T one two song forty one go. Yep, don't bother with the repeat. All right, um, let's play it again. This time, try it with me. One two song forty one go. it's totally okay to just listen to me play it and move your fingers put your flute on your shoulder and move your fingers but when you feel ready try to um, watch the video and play along with me okay song 42 skip to my Lou song 42 skip to my Lou D D D B flat B flat B flat D D F look ahead in measure 3 what is the low note in measure 3 Please take a look in the third measure. What is the low note in measure three? Hopefully you could tell it was A, low A. Low A is two fingers. Try a low A. Yeah. Okay, song 42. Ta, ti, 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 ta. One, two, song 42, go. Remember, feel free to rewind it and play it again with me. Did you notice that that TT coming to the end, you had to change fingers. You had to go from D to E flat. Yeah. Okay, song 43. This song is challenging. Scan through it. Notice that every TT you have to change fingers. Every TT um, is two different notes. I know there's a repeat, but we're just going to play it. Um, just play it once. Don't bother with the repeat. This one is a challenging song. Do you notice?
notice also though that the beginning kind of has a five note scale pattern to it. That's why I really like you to master and have the five note scale learned because it is used in lots of songs. Ta, ti, ti, ta, that speed. One, two, song 43, go. <laughs> Oh, Susanna. Notice there's only two TTs in the whole song. The rest of it is quarter notes or tas. Um, I'm going to want these TTs to be kind of quick. So would you practice the, the first three notes? T, T, ta. See if you can get it that fast. Practice it a couple times. Okay, so this is the speed. Ti ti ta 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 ta. That's the speed I'd like. The song is mostly ta's, so I want it to go a little bit the speed. That means the ti ti's got to be quite fast. Um, notice it starts on an incomplete measure. Does anybody remember what that's called? It's called pickup notes. It's called pickup notes. There's supposed to be four beats in every song, in every measure. There's supposed to be four beats in every measure. But if you look at this song, that very first measure only has a TT. That's only one beat. So it's called a pickup note. It's often used. It's often used. And the tradition that when a song starts on an incomplete measure, the last measure is incomplete also. So look at the last measure of song 44. Do you notice that it's a half note and a quarter rest, which is only three beats? So do you notice that that's a, not a full measure either? So it starts incomplete and it ends incomplete. But if you add the first measure with the last measure, it adds up to four. That's the tradition on a lot of songs. Pickup notes are used very, very commonly in music. So to lead this one off, I'm going to go one, two, three, and then you jump right in with the TT. T, T, ta. So I'm going to lead it with just one, two, three. Get yourself ready. Everybody warm up a B flat. Everybody warm up the T, T, ta. Warm that up. Okay, I'm going to lead it with one, two, three. One, two, three. song on this page, Essential Elements Quiz, William Tell. William Tell. Okay, this one has lots of B flats. Scan through it. You see there's lots of B flats. So you've got to stay organized and know where you are. T, T, ta, T, T, ta, T, T, E flat. So you have to leap from a B flat to an E flat. So could everybody practice B flat to E flat? <laughs> Could we go ahead and do that? Practice B-flat, E-flat a couple times. Practice B-flat to E-flat. Okay. Notice this one starts with a pickup note. Again, it starts with an incomplete measure. It ends with an incomplete measure, but together those measures equal four. So I'm going to lead it with one, two, three, and you jump in on the B-flat TT. Everybody find your B-flat? Okay, get ready on song 45. One, two, three. All right, and that is packet page five.